Okay, so this uh, this example here is more you know practical uh, way of uh, uploading the data directly from the sheet. So I'll go back here. Um, here is a date, uh, short date, and then again this is in UK format at the moment. Uh, DD MM and YYYY, and here is a long date format, another date format, uh, a string uh, data type. A boolean and a number data type yeah both the negative and positive numbers um so um quickly what is going on here is um basically this code is saying okay find the last row within this particular sheet uh and then um set the source data as starting from here till whatever last row is um, f and last row so if there is more data set it's going to automatically pick that up like this yeah and then um, this part is basically restating the data so that uh, it can be uh, constructed in this fashion uh, so this part is doing that um, so it's re redeclaring the variable and then based on the number of cells and uh, cells or columns and rows that are that has been you know like uh in this particular range and then it assign uh this data to v data uh, array which is set up v data here yeah and uh, so basically this part is restating the data uh to that acceptable format and then uh, this part setting the culture this part is setting the format so if we look at these columns first one is date i'm saying this data type is going to be date and then the format is going to be you know a short date another date with the full time this is going to include um include the you know include time if it is there in a the cell just be mindful that the num date uh, with the time is automatically converted to uh, GMT uh, or UTC. Um, need to check that. And then this one is going to be a text uh, or a string and then a string and then boolean and a number data type. Okay, and then uh, again appending it to the same column, column A. And then this starting the service and calling the same method and the same way uh here there is two i'll add more information to this um there is two uh type of um value input option that you have one is uh as part of the raw data and one is uh, how the user actually goes and type in in the google sheet okay and then um, this is basically to calculate how much time it uh it takes to append the data so about five, uh, you know, like writing about uh, almost five million cells takes about four minutes. Uh, so if you have like a million cells to synchronize, uh, you know, like from Excel to Google Sheets, retrieving is much faster. But uh, if you upload, it will take about here yeah. because in the process, it, it also converts the data again before it happens. So that's why it takes a little bit of time about a minute or so for uh for one million cells or so to be uploaded okay um so let's try and run this and see how uh how it looks like let me just replicate this further okay and coming back here for now let me just clear up this data set and i'm gonna run this now So here is our data set. This is in the US format, though here it is in the Excel. It's in the UK format. Here it's in the uh, in the in the web. It's uh, yeah. it's in the US format because of the culture that has been set up to here to to US. Yeah. 